Hey Roblox here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create two spatial query parts to constantly change your health. One of them is the poison part that constantly decreasing your health and the other one is the healing part that is increasing your health. So let's try this one. The poison part as you can see is constantly reducing your health like this and the healing part Oh, is increasing oh, your oh, health oh. yeah and as you can oh. hear i have sound effects as well and of course you can change them if you like okay let's jump into it at first we will create this poison part and after we finished with that one we will duplicate it and make slightly changes to it and with this method we can create our heal part with very little effort Okay, now go to your workspace, click on this icon and create a folder. So, rename your folder to constant damage and in this folder insert a part by clicking on this plus icon again, then type in the search field part, yeah, then a part should appear. I don't need to do that anymore because I have already a part and rename your part to poison part yeah uh, you should choose um, this size i have um, eight on the x and z axis and 0 0.5 on the y axis and as color uh, i have chosen lime green and as material i have chosen neon okay Transparency I have set to 0 0.1 because uh, 0 is a little bit too bright in my opinion, but you can leave it at 0 if you like. Okay, after that, simply duplicate your poison part by um, clicking Control 3, oh no, Control 2. Then Control D for duplicate. Then you have, you have two of them, and simply put um, this part on the top of the first one. I don't need to do that because I have already my poison part. Okay. Then rename the second part to spatial poison part, and with Control Three, you have your scale tool, and then you can scale your part um, a little bit up. So as color, I have chosen uh, yellow and then I set the transparency to uh, 0 0.7. After that, you can create a particle emitter. This is optional, but I think it's looking really nice with this emitter because this schools indicates that this part is dangerous. So I have configured my particle emitter like this. I have chosen this color like green in the mid red then green again light emission one light influence one orientation facing camera i have changed the size as well i have a number sequence so i have at start uh, about the half size of the original image in the mid i have about um original size and at the end again about the half size good what else? Yeah, the texture. You can find this texture in this toolbox. Simply go to images and type in skull. Um, scroll a little bit down. There we go, this one. Um, simply copy the asset ID or type in your texture property this number. Type this in and you will have the same one as I do. Okay. What else do I have here? Um, oh yeah, emission. This is very important. You have to choose the same properties like I do to have the same effect. So emission direction top, enable true, lifetime 0 0.5 and 2, rate 15, rotation 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.4 and 1, rotation speed 10, 60 and speed 2, comma seven and spread angle 10 10 and the last property is drag you should choose here um, 0 0.75 okay that's it for the parts now we are going to the fun part um, and that means scripting 
Yay! We need to get a service called Debris. With this service, we will destroy our sound effect part later on. Then we will we need to define our spatial part. This is this one, the poison part. So that means local equals script dot parent spatial poison part. Then I want to set my uh, poison part transparent on the game start. So this means this one. Yeah. Okay. It should be transparent on the game start. And then I have to create my sound part. You can simply write this down in your script and you will have the same sound as I do. After that, you have to create a function that performs our spatial query. Okay, simply do that with local function and then function name. I call mine spatial func. Inside the function, create a variable with local spatial result. This is our array with all the parts that are in this spatial part. Okay, then simply type in game.workspace get part bounds in box and then brackets. And the first parameter is a C frame of our, where is it, spatial poison part. This is this one. Um, this is the location and the second parameter is the size. That means everything inside this boundary box, every part, ends up in our array with the name spatial result. Okay, now that we have our array, we simply need to loop through it. And I do that with a for loop. So for e, um, comma, human part in iPass spatial result. This is this array. Do. So now I want to select only the humanoids in my array. And for that, I have to look out for a humanoid root part because every character in the game has this humanoid root part. And I can simply do that with a if statement. So if humanoid part dot name equals equals to humanoid root part then. So now that I have the humanoid root part, I can simply select the humanoid inside the character and I can do that with local humanoid equals humanoid part dot parent find first child, which is a humanoid. Okay. And after that, I need to clone my sound because I want to destroy it after playing it. Okay. So this is done with um, local damage sfx clone equals to damage sfx and the function clone. And now finally, after all of that, I can reduce the health of the character. And I can do that with humanoid.health equals humanoid.health minus five. You can change this number to a number you like. Um, one is not enough, I guess. It would take too long. 5 is okay, maybe even 15 if you want to die the player quicker, I don't know. After that I want to play my sound effect and before that I need to check if the sound effect is loaded with this and I need to know if the humanoid has more health than zero because if a humanoid dies uh, it gets not removed instantly from the game and it sounds a little weird uh, when a character playing sound or making noises while he's dead. I want also to make every player in the spatial part sound a little different. I can do that with uh, the playback speed. I simply um, use math.random and set the playback speed to a random number on every play. Okay. At the end, you need to set your parent from the sound effect. And I set the parent to the humanoid root part. When that is done, you can simply use the debris service to destroy the sound part. And because we have here play on remove um, to set to true, the part, the sound effect, I mean, is playing before it gets removed from the game. Now we have to call this function. I do that with a while loop. So while true do and then your 
function. After the function, I put a wait. So wait one means that every second this function is called one time. That means that every humanoid that is in this spatial query part uh, loses five health so you have to consider that you can simply decrease this one like 0 0.5 if you like and put here to have the same amount um, 2.5 so this will give you the same result okay now let's test our part so if everything is working correctly i my character will lose now health so every second five health okay this part is working when you are finished with that one you can simply minimize this one and then uh, simply with control d duplicate this one then control 2 and then move this part to the side like i did so and then I will delete this one because I've already done that. And after that, you can simply rename your folder uh, instead of constant heal, uh, instead of constant poison, constant heal. Same goes for the script, uh, spatial heal script, and then heal part and spatial heal part. So simply rename this one and then we need also to change the script a little bit. You need to rename your part as well here because you changed the name here as well. So spatial heal, heal part. And what else do I have to change? Oh yeah, the sound ID. I have, I have a different sound on that one. So simply type in this one, this number and you will get the same sound effect as I do. And in the function, you have to add an if statement, this one. So if humanoid.health is bigger than humanoid max health, only then he should um, add more health. So plus five in my case. And only then, only if this humanoid is get healed, uh, he should play the sound effect, okay? You need simply to add this if statement. And the rest is like in the poison script. Good, now I want to show you that this two spatial parts are working with several players. And therefore I will start a server with let's say three players. So as you can see, I have now three players in here. And I... We'll go with this one on the poison part, as well as with this one and with this one. So, all of them um, getting constantly damaged. And I go now on the heal pad. And as you can see, the sound plays all the time somehow different. Oh, I need to remove this one because this one will die. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now he oh. is getting healed. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So my oh. script is actually working, oh. Oh. but no one died oh. until now. Oh. So I need to test this as well. It's a bit laggy now because I have tr three games running at the same time. Okay. Come on, player one. Be brave. Simply die. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, and woo! Player is gone. Yay! Okay, this spatial query script is working as it should. And if you find something that could be improved, please let me know that in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye.